This video will discuss the initial target markets for the ring trough. This is when invention becomes innovation. Not all of the initial target markets will appeal to environmental purists. Please understand that momentum is needed in as many markets as possible. The goal is to have private companies look at the various applications that the ring trough can do and make a financial decision to use it. Not based on market modifiers like tax credits, feed-in tariffs, carbon taxes, or politics, but based on a CFO comparing the levelized cost of choosing the ring trough to the levelized cost of choosing fossil fuels. Levelized costs include land acquisition, capital, operating costs, and the cost to service the loan. I am also creating new markets for renewable energy due to the unique features of the ring trough, which include larger size and focal line process substitutions. First target market, desalination. The world needs fresh water. The only place to get it is from lakes, rivers, the ground, or desalination. Billions of dollars are being spent worldwide to build massive desalination plants which use natural gas as the heat source to desalinate seawater. As discussed in earlier videos, the ring trough will be less expensive. Space cooling and heating. The tech giants operate massive data centers throughout the world, which require electricity to power them and an equal amount of electricity to cool them. The ring trough can generate steam directly in the collector tube, which can be used to operate double effect absorption coolers. The same applies to deep mining cooling in South Africa, which also require massive amounts of chilled water to keep the deepest parts of the mine up to two miles deep habitable where the ambient temperatures reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The same process can supply chilled water to these mines. Next target market is enhanced oil recovery. This is probably one of the biggest ones. 100-year-old oil fields are producing oil again using cyclic steam injection. The ubiquitous pump jack only recovered 20% of the oil in the field. Then water and gas were injected to recover another 10% of the oil. The oil that remained had the consistency of peanut butter. One of the methods to extract it is to pump steam into the old wells over a period of several years. This heats and liquefies the oil and gets it moving so it can be pumped out resulting in oil recovery rates of up to 75%. Today, 5% of all the natural gas used in the U.S. is used for enhanced oil recovery. The ring trough will generate steam directly in the collector tube and be the less costly option. Next target market is electrical generation. Currently, parabolic troughs operate all over the world producing electricity as described in previous videos. The electricity generated by these plants costs more than fossil fuels, re resulting in few new plants being built. The ring trough will increase the efficiency dramatically with steam generated directly in the collector tube at temperatures and pressures optimum for steam turbines. A study will also be made on substituting CO2 for water in the collector tube for electrical generation. Research into Brayton Cycle supercritical CO2 systems are ongoing worldwide. The ring trough may be applicable to this technology. Solar drying with an enclosed conveyor belt. This may prove to be the most widespread application of all. The ring trough will one day appear on farms worldwide as an alternative method to process food with renewable energy. A conveyor belt can be placed in the focal line the ring trough is the only trough that can accomplish this. Industrial uses of a conveyor system may include dewatering the premix for cement manufacturing, which requires enormous amounts of heat. Next target market is sealed collector tube heat processing. Many industrial chemical processes require heat pressure and a catalyst. A sealed collector tube can be inserted into the focal line for different durations to affect the process. Next target market, ring dish solar oven. This last innovation is actually my favorite. Wood combustion accounts for a majority of remote cooking worldwide. 
leading to deforestation and pollution. A solar oven can be suspended in the focal point of a parabolic dish for communal cooking by an entire village. The dish would not require electricity to operate and would have intuitive sun tracking controls and mechanisms. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to gensolar.com.